Hello, I'm going to show you how to uh, create uh, subdiv proxies and uh, tell you a little bit more about them. So I'm going to create just a regular old cube here to keep things simple. And um, then I'm just going to do a regular old duplicate, not like a special duplicate where it's becoming an instance of the thing. Um, then I'm just going to assign these different materials so we can uh, tell them apart a little easier. Nope, don't want that one. There. Okay. Um, right, so there are several ways to look at an object um, in its smoothed mesh form. Um, in other words, after it's had subdivs applied to it, after it's been um, smoothed out. Uh, you can hit the 2 key, and that will show about uh, your original object with the subdiv one. Um, inside of it, both of them at the same time. The outer one is just going to be displayed in wireframe, the inner one is going to be displayed with the current material that you have on there. And you can also hit the 3 key and that will show you just the smoothed object and you can um, still manipulate things from there and toggle back and forth between the um, different modes of seeing it. Um, objects um, have a uh, attribute that shows you uh, the smooth mesh options for that object and the subdivisions level. You can um, increase the preview division levels um, all the way up to 7. Let's see if I try to hit 10 it will just bring it to 7. And that is insane. Look how many verts there are. Um, there's like 27,000 and that's just going to make your computer uh, really insanely slow. So I'm just going to set this to 2 because really you don't start to see any difference after like 3 or so even. Um, and you can actually uh, have different objects set to different um, display modes. This one's uh, uh, got the smooth mesh preview on it, and I'm, I'm using the keys on my keyboard, 1, 2, and 3, to toggle between these. Um, this one's just got the 2 one on it, uh, you know, the uh, display of 2 in terms of smoothness, and um, okay, so the other thing I was uh, going to show you is the difference between displaying something like this and actually creating a subdiv proxy. If I go to uh, proxy, subdiv proxy and hit the options box, um, you'll notice that it's got pretty much the same controls as the attributes no attribute nodes attached to the object. Um, if you just uh, use the controls um, from inherent smooth mesh preview, then you'll be pulling all the same stuff that's from in here. Um, but there is a difference between that. Um, between using subdiv proxy options creation menu and using um, you know just pulling the settings from there and pulling the settings from in here. Um, and that's that you get these extra options. You get uh, to choose the subdiv proxy shader, the transparency, um, if it's in a layer or not, you can also separate out the subdiv proxy from the original object and um, actually start to use that um, to model with. Um, you can also you also get a subdivision method um, between exponential and linear, and really there's probably no reason why you'd want to use linear. I think it's the older version of it. Um, but, I mean, if you just hit Inherent Smooth Mesh Preview, you're going to be pulling the exact same stuff from those nodes. One other difference is that you get the setup. Um, if you want to create a mirror, like um, if you're creating uh, body geometry um, or face geometry, then it'll mirror it across the axis of your choice.
Um, another way of doing um, creating uh, body or face geometry is to um, when, when you're doing that you want to have it snapped to uh, you want to have the center uh, verts snap to the center axis and um, that way you're not going to get a seam when you're um, getting ready to combine the two um, objects and you want to delete the center face um, when you're getting ready to do that because um, otherwise it'll cause uh, artifacts across the center axis um, because when you're rounding it you've got this rounded shape at the middle but if you delete those two faces you don't get that same rounding, it just goes um, straight over. So yeah, um, that's the proper way to uh, mirror something across the um, axis, and um, That will come in handy when you're creating uh, body or face geometry. Um, so, uh, what I did when um, now there's a difference between that and creating this. See, they've got different levels of um, of preview or of um, smoothing in them. That's because this is creating its own exponential smoothing controls, and this one is creating um, them from the preview and uh, the preview is pulling them from the objects uh, smooth mesh preview and subdivisions level mode so that is um, what you need to know about um, those attribute nodes uh, really a better way of doing this though is just to or just a different way of doing this is to um, take an object Um, duplicating it using duplicate special and scaling it across the axis because that way you've got um, you've got uh, an object that you can combine with um, your other one um, you can attach the you can combine the meshes um, and then uh, merge the vertices from there uh, and you can just set that to its own layer um, in a reference layer and that way um, it won't interfere with your modeling and any changes that you make to this will be reflected uh, on the other one because it's an instance of the object uh, the third way of using of um, creating a smooth object is um, just to go to surfaces, subdiv surfaces, and um, uh, editing the settings of your created subdiv object from there. Uh, the difference is that uh, you don't have, um, you have to start with a primitive object and model it from there. It's uh, a very different um, workflow method um, going between the different levels. When you're actually modeling uh, just using the smooth preview though 
um, you're not actually changing the geometry, you're just uh, seeing a preview of it. When you're modeling with a subdiv object, you're actually, um, you're not just seeing a preview of it, you're um, creation, creating um, more geometry as you do that. So it's just uh, the three methods of creation uh, using a subdiv proxy, using uh, the smooth mesh previews, and using an actual subdiv object um, are just uh, different ways of accomplishing the same thing and uh, it's, it's just based on um, which workflow uh, goes better for that particular project. So, I hope this information is useful. Now get to making cool stuff.